Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined here on the gantry for commentary by Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Brentford facing Manchester City. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. is underway and so they starting 11 for Manchester City Ederson begins in goal Manuel Akanji plays with Kyle Walker as fullbacks Jack Grealish plays with Riyad Mahrez on the flanks and the main threat in attack today should be he must finish my goodness that save fully stretched he was one for his own highlights reel Let's see about the delivery. Well, he made the catch under pressure. Rodri. It's with Gundogan. De Bruyne. It's very attractive attacking football. And Mares comes into things now. Well, it's difficult to be full of confidence when you're trying to pose problems for this Manchester City defence statistically the best in the league Stuart well I can only admire the work rate the know-how and the desire of their defensive structure it's been brilliant this season and I don't expect that to change today and support available De Bruyne and he's lost custody of the ball here now putting it wide from there disappointing Top class defending. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? Defenders need to cover. Well, it could be on for him here. And a goal! Now they have their opener, and now they can celebrate. Well, this is worth watching again. Haaland beats the challenge with such ease and Mahrez finds that bit of space to finish so clinically. That's an excellent goal. but fair challenge and it will be a throw in take some progress with the ball at his feet but quick thinking defensively Jack Grealish Kevin De Bruyne and the pass could do damage but mistimed his run well he's got the timing all wrong there he just needs to bide his time Josh Da Silva. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Manuel Akanji. Holland. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Holland. Oh, what a goal that would have been. Lovely bit of inventive play, but just off target. And he saw the situation developing. Rodri. Holland must score. Oh, he wasn't ruthless enough in front of goal. Keeper has it now. And possession given away. Oh. 
and teammates around him but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending Holland the ball with Rodri Gundogan can he put it in able to clear the danger at least for now bodies forward and the break looks on looked like an effective counter-attack but brilliantly read well inching towards the break and City in front here Stuart as always very keen to get your assessment as regards their performance well it's been a tight game so far but they've just had that little bit oh more wait a moment Stuart look at what's happening and up for grabs off the keeper and there it is an almost intuitive piece of finishing Well, here we can see it again. Normally, I'm the first to point the finger at a goalkeeper, but I think it's a good initial save. I'm not sure he could have done much more. Just a bit unfortunate, really, that it dropped to an opponent. And the ball is moving again. 2-0 is how it stands. Space afforded him. So the referee blows his half-time whistle and it's all going to plan for Manchester City. They hold the advantage at the interval. Well, we said how good they are at the back, but today it's been the front players still in the show. They really have been a handful for the opposition. Their ability in 1v1 situations has been excellent. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Plenty of running room in the wide position. A fine reading of the situation. Gundogan. De Bruyne now. And he has options available. Holland. Now with Grealish. A city corner it is. Substitution time it is here. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Attending to his defensive chores. That's very effective. Good high pressing. Da Silva. Makes his way in field. Terrific block. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. Just the challenge that was required. Well, City, as the stats highlight, have had most of the ball. Yes, they've played well when going forward, but it's been their ability to regain the ball which has made them so hard to play against here, and it makes them such a good team. It's been a brilliant performance so far. Well, that's right, and unusually, they don't have the ball on this occasion. No possibilities inside the box. Well, they would have been disappointed had he spilled that one. Gundogan Holland given away by City could be a chance to break here all hands on deck and it looked like open road for them but up a dead end
Riyad Mahrez. On to Holland, and with that, the attack fizzles out. Henry on the ball, Jensen. Not a good pass. Promising attack, this. Oh, a nearly moment, but not quite good enough. Well, you certainly can't fault them for effort. They keep applying the pressure, and if they can just nick one, they're right back in this. Manuel Akanyi to be replaced by number six, Nathan Aki. Rodri. Well, they're quite content to knock it around inside their own half. The ball with Rodri. Back to Holland. Top class defending. Well, as we get close to hearing the final whistle, Manchester City dominant, Manchester City excellent. Well, I think the scoreline reflects the difference between the two teams. For most of the game, they've dictated the play and they've created some really good chances. I think it's been an excellent performance. He's got to score! Well, in the end, it was rather straightforward for the goalkeeper, Stuart. Well, he has to do better there. That's a really poor finish. Gundogan. And so into the final five minutes. Tremendous interception it was by Gundogan. De Bruyne, he's in behind. Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. We've had the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. And there's the final whistle, it goes into the books as a City victory. Well, they've been great defensively, as we know, but it was all about their front players today. Their movement, awareness of space and speed of thought was just too much for their opponents. They could have won this by a lot more.